Hi there. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, you're going to be witnessing a fat roll, finger weapon, no death run. Otherwise known as the ugly bastard run. This run was a lot of fun, and honestly, I was really surprised by just how everything went. But folks, if you like the video and you have a great time here, be sure to like and subscribe. Maybe consider coming to some of our live streams. I'll see you folks later. Thank you so much. Tally ho! They just look like a fucking gremlin holding a big ass finger. And while we could keep that going for what it's worth, I would like to see them kind of evolve. You know, like have an actual proper, like this is the fingerer. Their whole job in the lands between is to finger everybody that is their end goal that is the mission of the finger boy i think our first major thing for a while is going to be just leveling primarily health um because obviously we're going to be tanking a lot more in terms of hits across the board all right let's see there's a finger right over here go ahead and yoink that or not a finger my bad a uh, foot i do have to think that What's his face for this game might definitely very well be quite quite oddly horny all the time My man's put a bunch of feet and fingers and I mean shit at one point There was going to be Fia's panties in the game Elden foot Miyazaki's fed it you know yeah, you're absolutely right I, I'm pretty confident Miyazaki and R.R. Martin were just sitting there in a room together just like yo feet And then yeah, and then Elden Ring came to be I'm honestly kind of surprised that you never run into an actual flaccid cock anywhere throughout the entirety of Elden Ring. Well, I guess you can kind of get way too close to enemies' crotches sometimes, so maybe that was a part of his design choices. I don't, I don't reasonably know. Yo, bozo, fuck. Wait, did Rat take damage on that? No, okay. You're gotta be fucking kidding me a second rat like i should have expected second rat but like god damn it <laughs> that was way too close surprise special guest second rat god damn it i do probably have to get a rat emote for chat it only makes sense if i'm a soulsborne streamer considering how often miyazaki loves rats to show up and just be like the worst I'm probably not gonna use Bloodhound Step for anything. I don't really want to tarnish haha, the spirit of the challenge. In terms of the permadeath aspect, but I'm probably gonna keep it down to the bare minimum, which is if we die, it's a reset. Now, stupid deaths, unfortunately, kind of have to count to some extent. I have to take some level of accountability on certain things. Well, yeah, I'd have to imagine he'd probably try to do that. Bro's probably going to try and dip me in some fucking honey butter and then eat my ass. Which, you know, pause on that scenario, because I, I don't know if I'd really have... I wouldn't... I would not probably consent to that one. Probably wouldn't want him eating my ass. That that okay, never mind. Yeah, I would really prefer him not doing that. Honestly. El Pog Champ. Yo, El Los Pog Champs. <laughs> well, I don't know. It depends on how you view Pog. Like, is he pogging? Like the verbiage? You wouldn't really you wouldn't really masculine or feminine uh of verb necessarily in this case i think it would just be it, it'd be masculine masculine poggers only men can pog <laughs> it's the <laughs> yeah apparently only men can pog i don't know what happened within like the last couple of seconds to bait a bunch of did i asks but here we are apparently i called my local practitioner and it turns out fun fact he diagnosed me with the case of never asked He's weirder and gayer than you, so you feel thr- Who? <laughs> what? Just go out there, Luddy, and make your dreams come true. Take a couple more dicks. Make that shit happen. You got to out-gay. You can do it. I believe in you. Luddy, you have the ability to go further beyond gay. <laughs> you just need to go plus ultra on your gay. <laughs>
big finger slams. This is not... This is not really enough damage in the grand scheme of things. If he does this attack and combos it properly, he's going to win the fight pretty quickly. Alright, cool. Alright, finger... Well, you know, I didn't really mean to finger his toes, but sure. Alright, finger butthole. We're not going to be doing awesome here, but it isn't going to be poor? Question mark? Alright, big flick. That was actually not nearly as valuable as I thought it was going to be. That's a little unfortunate. Alright, best move in the game. Punished. There we go. Alrighty, damage could have been definitely better on that one, but frankly, as a whole, we did pretty darn good. So, I don't think we can complain. You've been tired? Have you been sleeping well? You woke up four times this morning. So no, no you have not been sleeping well. I really hope you do better, uh, like you're able to get better sleep soon enough here, friend. Because I can definitely tell you right now, like, sleeping issues are definitely, they're rough. You're too based in gods trying to nerf you? I, I mean, frankly, at that point, you might just be kind of fucked. Alright, well, here's hoping we get through this fight reasonably. Our stamina recovery is pretty good, actually. Really? Fucking bullshit shit attack from a... Ra That's his ranged attack. Like, that has no business being here right now. Okay, so we got no staggers on first phase. That's awesome. Seethe, cry about it. Wait, my finger flick did no damage and staggered him on the flick. Th I don't know how he did that. Man, bud, big boy, stop burning my cheeks. Man, look at all that armor doing work. Run behind him here. Actually, I'm, I'm just dead-ass lying. I fucking hate it. Also, finger the big man. I am the Lord nice. Of all that is golden. I am going to choose to completely ignore what you just sent in chat. Do not ever do that again. You're banning me? That's kind of... I, I, you know what? Honestly, I feel like I'm getting mod abused right now. What the fuck? You aren't supposed to be abusing me. I wasn't expecting mod abuse at this point in my day, but apparently here we are. Apparently my mods are now trying to fucking bait me with... My Hero Furry Academia bullshit. You know what I wish this game had that Dark Souls 1 had? It was a really, really good mechanic too. Like, genuinely one of my favorites. Um, Dark Souls 1 made it so you could take your, like, essentially you could take larger versions of stones um, to this one NPC, and he would break them down for you. Turn them into smaller bits. Because, like, there's so many times where I run into, like, somber sevens or, like, smithing sevens and whatnot, and I really, really wish I could break down the smithings. Because you run into them and you're just like, these are fucking useless to me right now. All right, then in that case, I guess we'll avoid cheese. No cheese for Loretta. Loretta just gets to be a very sad, cheeseless boss. All right, big staggerinos. Hit her with the finger. Unfortunately, the stagger fucked that up. Very cool. Thank you, random guy's chair, for fucking my day up. Awesome. Uh, we definitely need to be able to finger Renala pretty hard. 
it's funny. Day one, Ronala was definitely like weak, like all get out. Like she was, she was not a challenge at all for anybody whatsoever. She never bothered to really try to do her summons as much day one, and now she does it pretty damn consistently. Which, if she gives you like Bloodhound, God, Bloodhound, Bloodhound's so annoying. <laughs> At the same time, it, it makes makes it so the boss can actually fight back, so. Yeah, honestly, yeah. That that's kinda what I thought, because OBS is just really useful. It's just it's really good for most of what you do. Big meaty finger. I'll try and show it off one more time, because I just really like it. But Red Wolf's being kind of a goofball, so. So you roll, you jump, and you slap him in the cheeks. Ah, god, I love that one. It's so cool. Yeah, I might just go full embrace on the uh, the tankiness for the most part, and we might go get ourselves some, like, tanky talismans. I'm not gonna waste my flask on first phase, I suppose. Though I guess it doesn't matter that deeply. And beat some children with a big old finger. Bozo. Ah, oh, her face in, but I don't really think you get a lot out of doing anything other than just beating her to death. Also, free strat here, folks, which you probably all know this already, but, like, just run up to her there. It's always, like, free. Big fingy? Big fingy. Oh, I can't believe that just did that to her. All right, one more time. Big finger. Damn, we just fingered a single mother. So, chat. For those of you who consume upon the McDonald's, if you do, if you do, if you don't, fair enough. Question probably is not meant for you necessarily, but do you, when getting chicken nuggets from McDonald's, do you get them because you like the chicken nuggets or do you get them because the sauce? The other day I came to the epitome that I definitely only get McDonald's chicken nuggets because I just absolutely love the uh, the buffalo sauce. Not to say that they're inherently bad, just that's what I get them for. Alright, do I actually let him know his fort is safe, or do I just kill him? I think I, I'm gonna let him know. Give me your dagger. Alright, bye. <laughs> Ah, well, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. You bastard! <laughs> he really just sat there and wasted all of my sleeping nights. <laughs> Granted, it's kind of on me because I missed, like, a bozo. Okay, cool. That was enough for nap time one more time. Yay. The damage here is not awesome because the godskins are very blunt resistant. They um they don't really like weed. They're they're good noodles. They just don't do that. Alright, chug. <laughs> One more time. What about one more time? Yeah! Get fingered, bozo. Fuck this guy in particular. Damn, that fat roll go brazy. Alright, he's gonna run this way. We run on in there, and we're gonna flick him in the penis. Or he's gonna dodge it like an asshole. Damn, get flicked, brother! Right in the anus. One more time. Alright, finger flick. Go ahead and walk right up to its face hole, and we're just gonna flick that... Flick that Falling Star Bussy. Would it be a Falling Star Bussy, or would it be a uh, Falling Stussy? I'll let you decide, chat. Uh, so fun little trick for you at home, all you need to do real quickly here is as you're riding up, save quit right here. The archer will have to reset, 
So they don't get to get their full shot off, but you get to keep riding Torrent because you're mean. Uh, and so, yeah, you just get to ride right on past this poor boy as he's like, oh, who's that? Uh, and you get to take advantage of that fact. So, yeah, nice, nice little trick for you. I don't know why I didn't get to two-hand the weapon, but oh well. Save. Walk it sideways, smash his cheeks in. Oh, oh, terrifying attack. <laughs> what a terrifying attack. All right, there we go. Dragon Sentinel put down in the dirt as he needs to be. As far as it stands with any Soulsborne, you're really better off not going fat and tanky, because fat roll is just always the worst option ever. Like, Dark Souls 1, poise was actually poise. Granted, mid roll was actually kind of rough in Dark Souls 1. A ever since then, mid roll has just kind of been a concept that's been there, frankly. And it doesn't really mean much. Get fucking fingered El Bozo. Hmm. I'm curious if Goldfree's going to be a problem here. He might be, but we'll find out. Um, jump. Smash his tits in. Smash his tits in. Jump in the air. I wasn't really sure if I could do that, but obviously no. Easy bait. Smash his thighs in. Do it again. Smash his thighs in. Go ahead and flick the big man right in the face. He doesn't need to worry about it, trust me. So we're gonna go and do the bait trick right here. If you ever wanna do this, this is a really easy trick against him. That one attack he loves doing at the beginning of the fight, you can bait that freely. Like, you can just cycle him on this. Point is, is you can get it pretty consistently. You just have to run from a certain distance. Anywho, didn't really need to do that, but we did it anyways, so yeah. You know what, I'm gonna fuck her up, because I really don't want to deal with her. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and put her in the grave. <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind, she's going in the grave. <laughs> God damn. Ah, uh, we love the finger. We love the finger here. There we go. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna wait from back here. We want him to throw daggers into Spear, because when he does that, uh, he usually does a leaping attack off the bat, and it's very free. Now, I don't know what the fuck Morgoth is going on about today, but apparently he doesn't want to fight, so that's interesting. Anywho, here's the attack. Uh, smash his cheeks in real quickly. Go ahead and fucking take his ass to Pound Town. Go ahead and flick this elderly man in the crotch as he stands up. Remind him who's boss. Remind him which Tarnished decide to ruin his phantom on top of ruining his cheeks. Then run in there, do it again. Go ahead and do it again. Put his ass in the dirt. Remind this old man who puked over the arena. Yeah, that's right, it was Morgoth. The oopsie daisy king. The fucking bozo. I'm actually really happy about that. That's that's cool. That is just a free armor set. Also, look how thick we are now. We are really the thickest. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of digging this fat load right now. Like, we look kind of awesome with this load up. Like, we're thick, but, it, like, it's good. Good stuff. Fuck you and your horse, bozo. Get fingered. Get out of my way, horse. I'm not done fingering your master. Everything I'm going to say so far is probably going to require at least 5% of a pause. So, you know. Yeah, I know. Everybody, get your L's in chat. We're dealing with a fire giant. Mr. Roly Poly is back at it again. What's he going to start with? Everybody's favorite attack? Yeah, apparently. He's an asshole after all. I hate that attack. I really fucking hate that attack.
not really going for another stagger, frankly, right now. Well, unfortunate that he'd do that to us, but yeah, that seems about right for Fire Giant. Alright, let's go ahead and rebuff. Alright, big staggerinos. Smash this boy's cheeks in. Go for the eyeball hit, I suppose. In between his thighs every single time. Alright, run on in there, get the free eyeball smack. Nice, we got the eyeball smack into finger flick. And that, my friends, is how you bully a fucking giant. <laughs> Uh, a festival. Uh, and they chose to do a no death run, and that's exactly what we did. Alright, cool. He gave us the best attack. That's fine. Yeah, that right there is that little bitty bit uh, example. Um, the game game staggers the bosses with the uh, the pre flick. I guess because we're really starting off with buffing in the process of things, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and eat one of these real quickly. For poise. Did that actually? Hey, we got the double sleep. We love to see it. Nice. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and just focus on beating the shit out of the small one, um, primarily. That was kind of a really bad phase, honestly. Like, I did not do that well. Um, but it's okay. We got the fat boy to go ahead and hopefully make up for it. Alright, smash his anus in. No, no, Godskin doesn't get to breathe today. Fun fact. All right, cue small boy. Double chug it, apparently. Okay. All right, back to bed with you. I can't believe I forgot the fling! I forgot to finger him. I'm sorry, chat. That's not what you came here for. You came here to see a big fat man get fingered, and I am terribly sorry I disappointed you like that. Ugh, fucking shit dragon lightning. Fun fact about these birds, they actually are forced to climb up here. Like, they can't get up here. They have a climbing animation. You'll notice it, and right here. There we go. Cool. It's funny, I never really took note of it, but I just don't like this dragon at all. There, we did the bare minimum damage I was talking about. And he's gone. Wonderful. God, what an annoyance. Damage falling off will suck, obviously. So hopefully it's not too bad, but we'll, we'll have to find that out as we get there. Oh, that sucks. That's actually a good attack. God, that fat roll really does, uh, does pose a little bit of a problem in certain cases. All right, I'm gonna wait for that stagger to move, because we want him to be re-staggerable for second phase. Oh my god, I almost fucked up so hard there. I am so surprised he staggered that easy. Does the finger do a lot more in staggers than I thought? That's unfortunate, but it's okay. Oh! Oh, you poor bozo! You poor deluded fool! Oh, you stupid, stupid kitty cat! Get fingered! Okay. Alright, so now comes Gideon. Which this should be... 
easy itch? Jesus Christ! Get fingered, old man! Not even you. Sidestep it, bash this man's bozo brains in. Who am I kidding myself? I love this old man. He is my favorite old man. Of all the old men of all time, he's the best old man. I was going to say, that's probably going to stagger me regardless. That's unfortunate that he would do something so wrong to me like that, but oh well. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, Golden Bow, because anything else is probably going to take too long. Shit. Thank God for that ritual sword talisman. Oh. Sobre son. Alright. Risky play of the day here. Run at me, Godfrey. Go for it, big guy. You fool! Get fingered. And that is how we... Uh, how we finger an old man he definitely had me on the ropes there like I'm not I'm not gonna hold you chat uh, we, we were about to lose that one honestly he just oh my god that guy that one beefy caked motherfucker <laughs> I thought the game almost crashed there actually oh my god yeah we, we can't roll shit here Alright, cool. Staggerino. Damn, that's not nearly enough. Like, that was not as much damage as I was hoping for. Okay. I mean, shit, I'll take it. Fucking put his ass in the dirt. Elden Beast time. Alright, nice, we got our stagger. Big meaty chunkers. Below half health. Is he gonna start doing his crazy bullshit? No, he's he's a moron today, apparently. We love moron Elden Beast. Damn, he really wants to die, huh? He wants to die a nice tragic death. And that, my friends, is how you finger Elden Beast. That, my friends, is how you finger a god. What an intimidating figure. <laughs> Mr. John Bacon. Oh, gosh.